Kathleen here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a test shot sample thanks to Fans Hobby. Um, I have MB05 Fly Pro, also known as Growth Tusk. This is just a sample box, so this is not what it's going to look like, but this is what it came in. But we won't be needing it. So here he is. This is what we want to see Fly Pro looking sexy. This is not straight out of the box. I've attached um, his gun and lifted up his chest. His chest was collapsed like it should be in monster mode. What that means is that um, the tabs were pegged down, locking the waist into place. This, so this is a before and this is an after. What you want to see is those circle things um, on his abs. You don't want to see four of them, not two of them. Um, so I just wanted to get that out of the way quickly. Looking at it now, it looks really, really good. Um, the quality, the plastic quality is just, it blows my mind. It's actually probably one of the best plastics I've had on a figure. Um, it does have die cast as well. Um, the hip guards are die cast and the feet are die cast. Just for comparison for plastic quality, um, I received um, the Dire Battles V2 today. Um, by Takara and the plastic quality was just maybe not cheap but I was pretty surprised at how light the plastic was. What I'm trying to say is that for an official product um, it felt cheap compared to this. I'm not saying that it's perfect, it's definitely not perfect. It does have a couple of issues which I will address. As you can see in the pictures that this figure has a slight lean, um, that's not my photo skills. <laughs> it's it's definitely the legs on this, and I'll show you that in a moment. If we take a look, um, a closer look at his knee area, I hope that's clear. His left leg is positioned higher on the thigh, and that's what's causing the lean. And you can see more feet. Um, I explored this, transformed it, opened up the panels. I actually don't quite understand how this is possible. Like, you compare it to the other side, there wasn't really any difference like in terms of like where the nuts and bolts are screwed in um hopefully fans hobby takes on that feedback i'm not sure if it was just my test sample um it could just be mine but it was just something that i noticed with my ocd everything had to be even you know as you can see here that the left leg is um a little bit more straight and the right leg is on an angle um why that is is that the ratchets aren't aligned properly they're both in the same clicking position but not aligned when you do pose this figure when it's not standing straight you don't really notice it at all um uh, speaking of posing i'm not exactly the best poser for transformers <laughs> but trust me guys this looks a lot better in real life than it is in my pictures i just could not capture the right angle when i first saw the photos of this figure i wasn't sure if i'd like it and when it arrived in the mail to put it out of the box like it looks so much better in real life just for size comparison here he is next to mp10 and i think it's fair to say that he is mp scale in terms of design i'm not sure if it's a masterpiece design or idw um it has a lot more detail what you would expect in a masterpiece i think the design is more suited um for the idw designs Tell me if I'm wrong guys, I just, this is just what I think. <laughs> I love figures with wings, especially articulated wings that fold in. By default, this is how the wings were positioned when I took it out of the box. I like how it covers the head. It does have a pretty large backpack. I do have it leaning forward because once it's standing straight, it does have stability issues. The monster head's gonna just it's going to be covered for a short amount of time because I'll be posing it with the wings out. So check that out. That's the big monster head that's hidden behind the wings. So there is a hefty weight to that, in my opinion, which causes stability issues. Now you can position the wings this high or you can position the wings this low. Now the wings do have three points of articulation and you can accordion them to how you like, which is pretty damn cool. I forgot to mention guys that it does come um, with extra accessories. Um, it comes with add-on fists for MBO3 which is the double-necked dragon. 
<laughs> naked. <laughs> it also has optional faces for MBO2, optional faces for MBO3, and an optional face for MBO5. Um, sorry guys, I'm not gonna put the optional faces together. It also comes with these flaming things that go in the mouths of the other monsters. <laughs> And I hope these are toxic. <laughs> now let's take a look at this figure in detail. Let's look at his head sculpt. He is on a ball joint, but it's very limited. When you turn the head to the side, you can see the distinguished feature, which is that extended helmet flap. Don't know what to call it. Now it does look really cool, but it covers the face a lot. Now if you look at the face front on, you can see that it does create a lot of shadow and it, I think, in my opinion, it covers the best feature on its face which is the, the chrome green eyes which I think is kind of cool. Sometimes you can't get through light piping and you can't really see the eyes but this, any light that hits the chrome, it just shines bright. <laughs> But it's a pity that the helmet is in the way. Um, on a ball joint, you'd expect it to have a lot of mobility, but this is as high as it goes. And that's as low as it goes. Now, looking at his chest, he has a big, strong barrel chest. He has what looks like Cybertronian lettering. He also has them on his shoulders and forearms. Um, his forearms are pretty cool. He does have his monster claws tucked in behind him. Um, if you really wanted to, you can do a part transformation where his claws are his hands and you can do some like Wolverine action. He does have a groove in his hand where you can slide the weapon. So with his fingers, he has one of these ones. Which is weird because it has three points of articulation but he can't point straight so he's literally just pointing like this. As I mentioned before, he does have die cast hip guards. Now, looking at his legs, they do look really strong and powerful. It's pretty much the bottom half of the monster. Now, I looked at the G1 toy and the G1 comics. Um, I thought that the tail positioned on the side of the leg was accurate. Um, it should be the foot of the monster that's on the side of the leg, not its tail. Now, the monster foot or the monster leg, um, as you can see, is tucked in the inside of the leg. Um, which actually makes the foot of the bot, which is die cast. Now you guys know how I hate going through articulation. I think it's more important how well a figure poses, not so much how well it articulates because sometimes it's really good articulation and you can't even get a pose. <laughs> now with this figure, it was really hard for me to show you a good angle. Like my photos did not do it justice. This is, it looks really good in person. So now let's look at the joints. I've already mentioned the ball joint on the head. So that's tick. It's got a double jointed shoulder, a ratchet and a swivel, but the ratchets are not too soft, not too hard, just right. It's got a light ratchet on its elbow. The waist is on a swivel. Um, the ratchet on its leg is really strong as well. It's got a spring ratchet back and forth. And on lateral, it's I think it's just one of the friction ones. The ratchets on the knees are also very strong. The ankle is a ball joint, but it's actually quite limited. Alright guys, let's take a look at this in alt mode, which is the best part in my opinion. Or should I say monster mode? Yeah, monster mode. Now here he is in monster mode, and it just doesn't make sense. It's like half dragon slash dinosaur mole rat. I think it just looks really, really great. To be honest with you, I didn't know anything about the monster bots until Fans Hobby started releasing them. And Fly Pro here completes the trio. And to be honest with you, I think I have to get the other two. There's not much I can say about monster mode. I guess what I can say is that there is a big ball joint that connects the head to the neck. So it does give decent articulation. The wings you already know about, you can pose it however you like. The arms of this beast has the same mobility as it does in bot mode with the added ball joint, ball jointed claws. Now the jaw does open, it does have nice chrome fangs. And it's also pretty good to see that the dragon head has nice green chrome eyes. The flames do plug into the jaw of the dragon. What I would probably suggest is pull them apart because they do come in two pieces. 
put this one in first. And it's kind of like a jigsaw, so you just have to wriggle it through the fangs until it fits in. Just be very careful guys, it will take you a while to try and fit it all in there. Um, I'm kind of just hesitant that one of the fangs might snap. They probably won't, but I'm just a bit paranoid. And just like magic, the flames are attached. Um, now when you do take it out though, it is a little bit more scary to take it out because it's reverse jigsaw. <laughs> you have to wriggle it out and as you pull, you don't want to pull and rip the fangs out accidentally. Now what I forgot to mention is that you can plug in his gun at the back of his neck for a complete look. So it's like double firepower from its mouth and from its back. <laughs> So that's it guys, I don't know what else to say, I'm impressed by this figure. Look, do I recommend it? Definitely, if it, if it fits in your collection, definitely get it. So this is a test shot, um, and hopefully the issues I mentioned before will hopefully get fixed. In the description, I will list where you can buy this from in Australia. At the moment, I only know Toybot Imports is stocking this. Thanks for the shout out on Twitter. Thanks to Fans Hobby, um, this is my first test shot from a manufacturer so I'm very excited about it. So that's it guys, if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, if you want to see more press subscribe and if you want to stay connected all my social media will be linked down below. Till next time guys, see you later.